hi everyone so uh, i have written down the code again the previous from the previous videos i have just written down the code of all the classes which we have created that is three classes in a single in, in the single cell i have written that is why it is looking too much bigger but it is a three different codes right now you have understood method uh, uh, method resolution order how it works now what i do is now let's say i just want to uh, I have the I have this method named describe right I have this method named described in my par main parent class reservoir now let's say I just I just uh, use describe here and by the same name I create a different method by the same name in my child class right so this is my child to child class so that is Rajasthan reservoir now what I want to return it as uh, I'll just return any random just a random statement right you'll understand what i'm doing so now we have two describe methods first one of the class object and uh, first one of the class reservoir and the second of the class this rajasthan reservoir right now i'll execute this code now i'll copy i'll just create a, another uh, objects first one for reservoir and it takes 0 0.14 252 and what location it takes is that is let's say Ahmedabad this time all right and my second reservoir is of second uh, object is of my class Rajasthan underscore res and it takes 0.3574 and the location this time is Mesana and my uh, it takes initial pressure also that is 5000 let's say and 4500 let's be bubble point pressure and saturation of water let's say 0.47 right so i've created two objects for two different classes i what i'll do is now i'll i'll run the same method on both of the objects i'll just go to the next code cell first one i'll root d dot describe you see it is giving me a fine result right very good results as as expected now if i do e dot describe you see i am getting this statement means the updated one why this is happening there's a major role uh, in the of uh, method resolution order because when i see the method resolution order of my class this reservoir all right you know it will not it will just uh, it, it it is the main class it will know it will go nowhere else right but when i check the my class of this class and you will see that what i explained in the previous video was that first of all it will look for the method in this class only so when i use the describe method here what it did was python find the describe method here only so it didn't care to go to the this class reservoir in the previous examples there was no such describe method right in in this class of rajasthan reservoir so whenever i used to give command of describe it was it starts looking for describe it will go on this he didn't find it here didn't find it here it finds it here and hence apply that function which has been defined in this class reservoir so this is how a mro is important this is how a method resolution becomes important okay now uh, this is known as a method overriding right because method has been overrided we have used the same name again method has been overrided and this is known as a method overriding now uh, let us talk about uh, polymorphism what poly polymorphism is so poly for polymorphism this is the definition of polymorphism polymorphism what it means is that having multiple forms of a single thing correct we have already seen moly uh, okay i'll just uh, cut this line now i'll give you some examples i'll give you some examples that examples we let's say i want to do the 6 into 3 and i want to print this result right 18 it gives me fine it gives me a perfectly fine result now when i do this when i do this multiplication by a string uh, let's say uh, ohm and I just want to print it three times. If I multiply this three by this string, it, it gives me this kind of results. So uh, this is a polymorphic form of star operator. 
means if we use star operator with integer it behaves like a simple multiplication when i behave this when i use this star operator with a string it behaves like this so it is a single thing star operator but it is not a star operator i mean star operator is that uh, star arcs is star symbol you can say multiplication symbol you can say so this is a polymorphic form of a multi uh, multiplication symbol a different results with the integer and different result with the uh, string uh, so a method overriding is also an example of polymorphism because a single method is giving me different results when i'm using it on different objects of different classes right so this is why and this is a very important concept in object oriented programming uh, polymorphism so you see when i use describe method with my d object which belongs to class reservoir i got this result when i use the same describe method with my e object uh, of class rajasthan reservoir i was getting something else so i am getting different results for the same method this is an example of method overriding and method over, uh, method overriding is also an example of polymorphism so keep that in mind and now uh, let's move on to uh, move on to some uh, new methods that is in in uh, sorry is instance methods and is subclass methods what these two methods will do is they will always return me a boolean value a true or false so uh, why we use this so we use that is instance so we check uh, we want to check that if our object if our instance belongs to a particular class or not right so if i check my instance d and i want to check uh, it it belongs to class reservoir so let's see what we get it gives me true yes yes your instance d your object d belongs to your class reservoir but when i do that here uh, rajasthan r a j underscore r e s it means i am asking a question now that is my object d belongs to class rajasthan reservoir so it will give me false which i know be right and if i replace this d by e now i am asking the question that if my object e my instance e belongs to the class rajasthan reservoir so it will give me a true i think right so this is how you use is instance methods now let's see is subclass methods for example is subclass it checks that a uh, class is a subclass of a parent class or not means first here we'll write the name of child class so my child class will be r a g r e s and my parent class is reservoir right so this should give me the value true that my rajasthan reservoir class is a subclass of this uh, reservoir class right now uh, if i want to check if my rajasthan r e s is class of this which is also true right so it should also return me a value of true correct now if i check if my any class that is this class is a subclass of reservoir which is true and if i give that raj underscore res it will give me the value of false because it is otherwise that this class is a subclass of any underscore class right so these two methods you can use to check whether uh, it is a subclass of a specific class or it is an object of any uh, particular class great now uh, there is a new term called multiple inheritance what we have seen was multi level inheritance uh, the major difference is just take an example for that uh, if we if b is derived from a and then we have derived another class from b as we used to de as we have seen in the previous examples we we did the same thing right so that is known as a multi level inheritance but what multiple inheritance is when c is derived from the combination of both a and b means uh, two classes are acting as a parent class at the same time to derive a single child like that so c is derived from a and b that will be known as a multiple inheritance but multiple inheritance what it does is become it uh, it takes uh, your code to the next level complexity of code to the next level so it is not widely used all around the world so we'll uh, we will not uh, study about multiple inheritance and we'll end the topic of inheritance here and we'll end the this course here as well as of now as of now what i have designed i have already told you everything but in future if i think that i have missed out on something i'll definitely add after this video so uh, congratulations to all of you you have successfully completed this uh, course and uh, 
yes i'm super proud of you all and uh, just ki uh, just uh, give a pat on yourself on your back so you have done a very great very good work and yes thank you so much guys and uh, thank you so much i'll i'll end the course here thank you